Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Run I'm doing another one of my quick unboxings. Now I've seen this product a few times mentioned on the net and I've seen a couple of other people on YouTube do reviews but I thought well I'll get myself a, one of these units and I'll do my own review. Anyway the product is from Photo Jojo's and it's called the Pocket Spotlight. So first of all what we'll do is we'll do an unboxing and then we'll have a look at the product itself. Alright, so this is everything you get in the box. You get a Phillips screwdriver, you get the little adapter which allows you to plug it into your iPod or any device that has a 3.5mm jack. You get a USB charging cable and you get the device itself which is the little pocket spotlight and it has the shoe adapter on it already. And of course a little uh, picture diagram on how to install the unit onto your camera or iPhone and also how to change the uh, end. So that's pretty much everything in the box. So next let's actually go and have a look a little bit more detail at this product itself. Okay let's have a look at the unit itself and as you can see it's definitely quite a pocketable unit. It's very small um, and it's quite compact. Now the on and off button is flush with the back of the unit which is something I'm not too keen on. I would have rather a slightly raised button but um, due to the cost and the nature of the unit I suppose they decided to go with something flush. Now you, you push the button like so and that will turn it on and then you push it again but it's not so easy sometimes to push it on and off being flush to the back. Alright, on the side you have a micro v, uh, USB uh, port which is for charging. Now that charges the internal battery. Uh, which you get about uh, an hour out of use, but you can get a bit longer depending on um, when you use it. But it, it roughly lasts for an hour apparently. And then on the bottom you've got the actual uh, shoe uh, adapter itself, which is for mounting on cameras. Now with the little supplied screwdriver you can take this um, off, just unscrew it like so, and then you can add the 3.5mm jack on the bottom and you just screw that in and so now you can plug that into things like your iPhone or anything that has a 3.5mm jack uh, phone or head um, microphone port that you can uh, use. So that's quite a neat feature and that gives it extra advantage of just having the hot shoe adapter. Anyway let's go and have a look how it mounts on various cameras and then also on the iPhone itself. Okay, so first of all I thought I'd use the, um, the shoe adapter um, on this unit and see how well it mounts to different cameras. So I've got here the 70D from Canon and so I'll just slide it onto the shoe adapter itself and there's a lot of movement there. It's not really very stable and it's not something that I would feel comfortable um, running around with. Maybe mounted on a tripod it would be okay but otherwise it could just sort of slip off because it, it rocks around a lot and as you can see it's just going to wobble or wobble 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 and drop off. So I can't uh, recommend it to be used on DSLR cameras because I just can't see it being strong enough. Um, it's got too much movement there and I just don't like how much it moves back. Um, so next let's have a look at another camera. Okay, next let's have a look at it on a Sony uh, RX100 Mark II. Uh, now we'll try the shoe adapter again. Now it's definitely a bit more tighter on this and I'd feel a lot more comfortable using it on this camera. Um, it actually looks quite nice on this camera and it, it's uh, an extra feature definitely. So I could definitely recommend it for point and shoot cameras or you know cameras that are slightly less large and bulky like the Canon uh, 70D or Canon 5D Mark. Um, three. I think it's more suited for smaller cameras like this. I believe it also mounts quite well on the shoe adapter for the Nikon V1 series which I'll take a picture and show you later since I'm using this camera for filming. Alright so next let's try um, it on another camera and see how it fits on that. Okay next let's try an Olympus camera and see how well it fits on this one. Um, so I'll put it like so. And again, there's, there's definitely quite a bit of movement there. It rocks quite a lot and see it, it actually just slides off. So it's, again, it's something I wouldn't feel comfortable um, running around with to film with. But mounted on a tripod, yes, it would be fine. So um, on the Olympus camera, it also doesn't fit too well. So, so far I've found it only seems to fit really well on the Nikon V1 shoe adapter and on the Sony RX100 Mark II but on DSLRs and on this Olympus camera it's not fitting too well at all 
um, but again the main use for this is not necessarily just on this it's also to be used with like your iPhone or iPad so let's have a look when I change the adapter and how it fits onto your um, iPhone and how that works okay I've got my iPhone here and as you can see it just I've changed the end now to the uh, 3.5 um, microphone jack end and it just clicks straight into your microphone or headphone jack on your iPhone and so now you can use it like so um, and in that sense it's quite good so if you've got your camera that way I suppose you can you can point that into it and you've got some movement of adjusting the uh, unit so you can adjust the direction of the light which is quite good so if I turn it on as you can see you can definitely um, adjust where you're shooting your light to so you can have it full on or aim it down bouncing it off the ground or up high so that's quite good and definitely um, handy if you want to put it onto something like an iPhone or an Android device so I can definitely recommend it there it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off and I like the fact that you can actually move it up and down so that's definitely a plus Okay, let's have a look at a comparison between the Manfrotto light and the Pocket Spotlight. Now, um, they're similar in size. I mean, the Pocket Spotlight is much smaller and definitely more pocketable, but it isn't a very big unit, the Manfrotto either. Now, there are a couple of pluses that the Manfrotto have over the uh, Pocket uh, Spotlight. One of them is that it actually has a dimming switch, so you can, in you can adjust the intensity of the brightness. The other thing is it has a much more secure um, shoe adapter for using on cameras than this unit. You've also got proper screw threads which is what I would like to see on this unit so that you can tighten it and loosen it. Um, and also it uh, runs off AA batteries where this has a built-in uh, rechargeable battery which is good but you've got the ability of uh, swapping new batteries in instantly where with this unit you'd have to wait for it to recharge or run it off a USB power source. So there's a couple of features that the uh, Manfrotto has over the um, Pocket Spotlight but the Pocket Spotlight is definitely a very bright unit and in, in, in actual fact it throws out more light than the Manfrotto so it has uh, the advantage there and it also has the advantage of being truly a pocket light so it's very small and you can just shove it in your pocket so anyway there's a bit of a comparison between those two lights so next let's go and have a look at some um, uses with this light Well there you go, there's a bit of a look at the uh, Photo Jojo's uh, Pocket Spotlight. Now it's a pretty good device and I certainly would recommend it and it's not really very expensive, it's probably around the $30 US, um, but you'll have to check depending on where you are in the world when looking at this video. Um, features that I don't like, I don't really like the smooth back and the fact that the button is sunk in, it makes it harder to turn on and off. I'm not so keen on the shoe um, connecting unit on this uh, device, I find that it's a bit flimsy and doesn't really have any way of holding itself down. I think it would have been better if they included some sort of thread screw to tighten it, which wouldn't have made much more uh, bulk on it, but it would have given this unit just a little bit more security for um, putting on cameras. I love how you can put it on your iPhone or any um, device that's got a 3.5 jack uh, input. So overall I could highly recommend this, um, apart from the negative features that I've pointed out in this video. So overall I would, uh, if you're interested in something that's very portable and you need for filming and you need to um, have it on the run, I can definitely recommend this. Anyway, I'm Justin, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.